Iconic Canadian band Lou Rodeo hold a record here at Budweiser stage. 20 performances. For 20 summers, they've been inviting friends, family and fans to be a part of the soundtrack of their summer. But as we know, most concerts can't happen because of COVID-19, but they will make it to 21 years. But this time the performance will be virtually. My best buddy, Jim Cuddy, joining me now. Now, Jim, get ready for the best interview of your life. I know, but it could only be the last best interview was you, too. So you'd be only topping yourself. To be honest, out of all of the people I know, Jim, I'm disappointed in you. I thought for sure you would have been rocking a quarantine beard. Oh, I just shaved. You know what? I just shaved before this. All right. This year's performance a little bit different. You guys did it at your studio. It'll be broadcast on City TV. And it's all part of the Budweiser stage series. We did it in a couple of different places. So at our studio, we have a couple of floors and we can spread out all over the place. So I was on the second floor. Colin was across the room from me. But Basil was in another, he was in the outer room. And then, so we did all that. And then we sent it to Greg and Greg was out at his farm with Jim Boskill. You guys are known as Canada's touring band. You go in the winter or in the summer. But I'm assuming this is probably the longest you've ever been at home. Um, it's very, very weird to have a whole summer of touring canceled. I have never had a summer off for 40 years. And lots of people have been listening to music. What has Jim's jams been during quarantine? This is going to sound so esoteric, but there is a piano player named Igor Levitt. And apparently his, uh, his um, mentor was Marc-Andre Hamelin, who's a Canadian pianist. So I've been listening to Igor Levitt. I have, uh, it's very difficult for me to com be completely absorbed by classical music. And this solo piano stuff is just incredible. It puts you in a different state of mind. It sounds beautiful. It actually sounds like we're in the complete same mindset, Jim, because I've been listening to something so similar. <laughs> like, nothing wrong with a little Ricky Martin love. Now you are a huge hockey fan. What have you been watching to help fill the void? I'm glad you asked this because I've been watching a lot of the 80s replays and it's a, it's a whole different game. It's much, much more physical. It's much harder. And I have, a, I, the guys I know are from that era. So I'm always texting going, oh my God, what you could get away with. And then they, they go, well, oh, yeah, today's game is so soft and blah, 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 blah. Ellen Doyle will also be a part of the performance on Saturday, which is on City TV. You can watch it at 8 p.m. Eastern time. For City News in Toronto, I'm Lindsay Dunn.